Alright, we got the uh, the EMA pump up and running. Like we said, that's a 1700 gallon a minute at 80 psi, or excuse me, 60 to 80 psi is what it shows on his performance chart. So he's drafting off the side of that bridge, have a 14 foot lift after he's probably more about a 16 foot lift. Primes without any problem whatsoever, feeding six inch hose back to this manifold, a TFT manifold. So the red line is running back to the creek because we were worried about uh, pressurization, right? The, what kind of pressure can be generated with all this water flowing. And uh, so really that's not a problem. Uh, we just didn't know first off, but that's basically our big dump line, for lack of a better term. Let's hop down and look at this manifold. So here's the manifold, and uh, we see that we show around 45, 50 PSI at the manifold. So that's really good, right? So you think about uh, one person operation, once you get this thing set up, this is a tanker fill state without a pumper, somebody brings this. So while, you know, for a normal house fire, maybe not, but you talk about a campaign event, excellent resource. You talk about if you had a pump through six inch hose all the way back to Stanley, which might be a quarter mile down the road, right? Certainly doable, and I don't need a full size pumper to do that once you're able to get one of these big dewatering pumps in. So a really good example of uh, using other resources for helping deliver fire protection water. High volume pump, low pressure, capable of working with this LDH, just sending water a long way.